Hello, welcome to another Theater of War mission I decided to do, because um, I like playing this game. So uh, I decided to do the next German mission I'm just selecting to show you what there is again. So, but I do the second German mission. I've, I'm already on the third one, but I decided to do the second one to just show you like I did with the first one. So, it's Dunkirk. That's the mission, second mission name. And, um... Yeah, uh, I am going to make this in the... I think this is going to be two parts. Because I thought, well, you know, because when I cut stuff, especially the last video I was going to do, it was the uh, first ally mission, but, you know, I had I cut that up so much because it was 40 minutes long. And, you know, I, and I just found, remember that um, this Sony Vegas uh, lets me do the rendering, like, render loop area only, so that'll make, I just found that'll make much easier to make parts so it won't be much of a hassle so it'll be easier so I'll just give you the full thing but um so yeah well in this part I was uh I had this mission was pretty tough and I would have to say that um you know this took me a bit to quite get I had to keep trying and trying until I found a good strategy basically well and this is a historical fact I wouldn't well, this is what I was. I, I heard in a documentary. They were saying like they said the French tanks when the Germans invaded, they were as equal or better than the Germans. But the French were prone to mechanical failures, their tanks and stuff like that, which they had to leave behind, which became really a burden. And that's how the Germans, uh, I wouldn't say win the tank battle. You know, had the more better tank because it didn't get breaking down and stuff like that but yeah and um the british i believe had was called like a malt it was not it was malta or Man it was not manila it was malt malta or something like that i know it sounds like the island malta but i we have no like feel that. That. but yeah okay but the strategy here is because they have tanks up right ahead and and it ats anti-tank um batteries i had to move my men up first because see that little patch over there of uh like a uh, kind of a field like where you know it looks like a farm and there's gonna be like a bunch of men like french guys just coming up to, uh just charging well i wouldn't say charging but they're coming and they just getting mowed down but yeah and up past that there's uh 18 guns and stuff like that so i sent my i sent that squad up to be ready after once the the that well, i think squad of frenchmen come they'll get mowed down and stuff like that but I lowered the graphics on here, so I lowered the tree quality and up the, the distance and stuff like that, so I could record better. And but I made the models look at, at like normal graphics, which is pretty good. I mean, when you have this game up on its levels and stuff like that, it does look really nice. But just for the sake of um, being able to play and record at the same time, I had to lower it, but which is still isn't bad. I mean that. Well, I have my I played on my grandma's computer, which is not bad. Oh, but I mean, okay, this I just kind of zoomed up to show you some action and stuff like that. And I moved the tanks up to give them some support. But, um, like I was saying, I play on my grandma's computer, which isn't bad. But, I mean, it, it wasn't not made, it wasn't made for, a, it wasn't a game computer. But, it, it's a pretty good computer placement. These games, these games. But, um, yeah, so I moved the tanks up and, uh, the French are just getting mowed down. I'm going to show you in a minute, I think. Uh, yep, uh, move the tank that way. Yeah, I put them in a line from racing their trees. I like to do that. You know, it feels like it gives them cover and stuff like that. Yeah, I zoom up to the French guys now. You can see the good shot and everything. And why they're disappearing is that's meaning they can't see them anymore, but they can see them for the most part. Yeah, see, they just keep moving up and they get like shot up. Yep, those are the French. Could have won, but they didn't stick with the times and uh bull and uh the damn manager line. Yep. But yeah, like I like I was saying, I was because there's eight past this little patch of field right here, and near the dirt field, um there's a couple anti-tank guns and well and through that area and through the grass and there's two tanks I believe hiding up there too. And they're hard I mean uh, you, I'm gonna tell you this right now. If you play this mission, if you own this game, you will lose tanks. I can guarantee that right now. It's just how 
much. I, I can guarantee. I believe I can guarantee you you'll lose two tanks, but uh but that's the minimal I think you will lose. I you can lose all your tanks, and you do get reinforcements. You get uh, Panzers uh, fours. Those are pretty good, but um but you don't get those first bit. This uh. You know, like I said, this this mission took me some bit. And see those trenches, there's going to be some guys up there, and there's going to be some AT guns too, but they're not hard to get once you um, got the tanks and ATs up here. I don't know if I was trying to speed the game. Uh, I'm looking this through a preview, win preview window, so it's kind of hard to see. So I'm doing the audio directly to Tony Vegas, so yeah. Um, Yep, and it's for some reason, uh, if the, one of the problems I would probably have to be the path finding. The path, path finding. Um, they sometimes work and sometimes it doesn't. I don't know. It does work. Yeah, like those guys are still moving on. I decided to tell the artillery to fire near the uh, soft them up a little bit, but but this artillery in this game, it's uh, more spread out than uh, really good. So, uh, yeah, these guys are moving to move up. Yeah, and those AT guns, uh, they do, these guys do the squad, so it's kind of getting pulled down a little bit, but, um, yeah. Yep, they're moving up, and we're waiting. Put him in a line formation because I just love that formation. And uh, that tank I told you is being to move up. And then um, I want, I believe once I got rid of the anti-tank guns, at least two of them, I moved my men up because of, you know they're disabled, and I moved my tank supports up with them, and they started en engaging the French tanks. And um, but when I engage them, I well, I think one of the French tanks gets my uh. One of my uh, tanks, but uh, the AT, one of the AT guns. See the second one? I just told. See where I just saw uh, that guy's looking at? Yeah, that's the second one I get. But there's another one next to that on the other side of the little uh, branch line or whatever. So uh, that one gets one of my tanks, and I think a third, and uh, and the rest ATs I think near the top of the hill on the other side of that little river. Uh, get damage from at least like the turrets. So I had to tell those guys to retreat. And there's one instance when those Panzer fours gets to to the battlefield. Uh, I had to tell two. I like told uh, one of the tanks to retreat. <laughs> it blocks the bridge, so they it kind of delayed them. And now uh, this game already feels it kind of moves slow. It kind of not that good. But um, yeah, like I'm getting these guys right now. He throws a grenade and it apparently blows him up. Actually, no, someone else threw a grenade. Oh wait, a minute, I think it was one of my own guys. <laughs> but yeah, I just I disable them, so they killed their sergeant. Bad or fail. But yeah, whatever. But um, moving up now, taking the AT. You can see they still have one over there. You can see those two tanks. I mean that AT and those two tanks. So I tell them to get on there, so I thought I was going to use them, and I, I mean, I eventually do, but that squad just gets mowed, like, chopped up, so, but, after they took the two ATs or disabled them, I told the, the, told the other two squads to move up, but, after that, I figured that they didn't do it right, but, so I had to, but, that, whatever, <laughs> I'm not making sense, am I? Um, so I tell the tanks to move up in a line formation when they're spread out pretty good. So they won't get, you know, picked off one. Well, I think the fr well in real life, I think they were um the French did them in tight packets with easy pickings because once like they got one tank, they could just shoot in that area again. So that's why they're better spread out. But so I just sent uh, another artillery strike to soften those guys up, but I don't really know if it did anything. Nothing to pay. Now, when you see that little flag I selected, um, when I select that flag, it's in assault mode that's like attack, move attack, or whatever, meaning like once they're going in their destination, they stop and attack uh, anyone that they come across or see. 
if they can engage with them. These guys were for some reason running away, but I told them to get back out. So we really need that, but it does help. For the this is, um, it shoot heat uh, ammo too. Heat ammo is uh, basically uh, anti infantry. Think about it. Yeah, that hard to do. Yeah, I've been trying to get my friend Jacob. Uh, well, Jacob Shank, if anyone that knows. Well, this is really, I've been sending this to my videos on Facebook to get from my friends to see. And um, I've been wanting him to uh, do a co commentary on another video, but uh, we haven't had time. Now I'm going to be going to the Yeah, whatever. But, um, yeah. I haven't, you know, there was one point when I. I was doing all the train videos, but uh, I, it was really a fad. Well, I wouldn't say a fad, but it was an uh, interest I had back then when I was a kid, and it, it was uh, 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 when I was young, and it, then maybe I wouldn't say maybe the beginning of the or whatever, because I'm 17 or whatever, but I started to get interested in it again. I, I wouldn't say. I am a fan today still, but I am somewhat still a fan. I was, you don't see me looking for trains anymore, but yeah, but you get my point. I still, if there's one in town and I happen to be there, I'll, I'll stay and watch. But look out there. But now I just, now I just put the game because um, I got my grandma's got a good computer, so I can actually record and not be crappy. So I used to have a gateway. I think I got back in 2006, which was at first okay. This is before I really got into gaming. And when I did start getting games, it was really like small, not small, um, really not powerful games or really. Like, like my first one, I think was a uh, roller coaster tycoon. I used to love that game. That you know, and I back then I wanted to start my own business or then uh, I want to be a truck driver and then I want to be a truck driver. But well, you know, whatever happens to that. You know, priority change. The Aufgabe ist ausgeführt. So then I just started uh getting the games. So I decided to move these guys up and I think I should have been getting my reinforcements soon, but this is when they were about to come because uh, I was when I was beginning to get like a little area set up. You know, I was moving the tanks up, and, uh, you know, you know what's funny about this game is that, um, if, uh, see, like, that tank, enemy tank, like, right in front of my guys, like, I mean, think about this, I know you have to reload, it, you have, it takes a bit to reload, but I mean, when you're that point blank, like, how can you miss, it's pretty bad, and I mean, even from a distance, when they're shooting, it does look like it's like, kind of, like, a little, a little out there that they miss. I mean, most like um, realistic game, like Milson, Milson, like or military simulators or game games. Like I mean, even like in Arbot, if they're not that far away or pretty close, it doesn't. They'll, they'll take a direct hit and they'll blow up. But in this game, that they might just like their turret might be dead. Uh, like the bullet might go like around my the tank, but not destroy, but kill some troops. Which is kind of cool, but yet again, it can get really annoying. Like, I think a tank, like, there's a tank that might you have might have left. You might think it's good, but um, it's really like dead and useless. But if the crew is still alive, you can save them and uh, give them more experience, which is kind of cool. But like here, when um the other squad moved up, I decided to split their forces so I can get the anti-tank moving. I mean, loaded. So I'm really thirsty. Uh. Yeah, see, like right now, the turret, the turret is like uh, just like destroyed or damaged. Not it anymore. And uh, oh, here my reinforcements came finally. Those are the Panzer fours, I believe. Yeah, they're all Panzer fours. So um, I tell them to go to assault mode. And in a line.